Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Slime oh. Light Novel Reading. <laughs> it's like we were doing this yesterday. Feels yeah, like just yesterday we were all week. here reading some stuff or something, you know? Mm. Unfortunately, today my roommate is home. No, oh, well, I mean, nobody's telling you you have to do any screaming, yelling, or crying today. So there's that. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got two more weeks before we got we can do that. Honestly, to be completely fair, guys, if you haven't checked it out, uh, solo leveling is what we did yesterday. I'm still debating back and forth as to whether I want to put that up on YouTube. I think it's safe that, for us to put it up on YouTube, honestly. It should be, because we don't... You mean, like, content-wise? So. Yeah, content-wise, yeah. I think it's safe for us to put it up on the Light Novel channel. I just don't know if we should or not. I mean, there is, like, blood it's... and gore, but it's not, like, that bad. No, but, Either I mean, really, we're I not showing it. Huh. Well, yeah, I was supposed to say, it's oh, more of an MP3 that's right. it's not thing legal. is the thing. Okay. It's not really an MP, like, a video thing. So yeah. Like, well, you could like put, like, a... a like a thing at the beginning that says we are not showing anything from the manhwa. Please support the official release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are. Uh, we yeah. should. We should have a like, following as like a, a fan based reading mm -hmm. of the series. Yeah, and that'll be fine. As long yeah, as you yeah. put that at the beginning, it should be okay. And should well, be not safe. not at the beginning. Just have it up there as text for the whole thing. Yeah, that's true. So at least. So nobody can like edit it's it out. It's something you can anything. download with YouTube like, as a watermark, Premium and just as listen like a, to as like just a watermark for the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, so there, nobody can edit it guys, or remove it or Guys, anything. just so you know, solo leveling for both the light novel, uh, for the light novel, fully has an audiobook version. So hmm. we're not a With, replacement like, for any of this. We I are don't not know the audiobook. I don't know if they have hmm. sound effects. I'd like to actually make a version that has sound effects. That'd be great, but that would mean Merge. we'd actually I mean, have to YouTube sit down. I mean, for the version, you can Here's add the in. thing. Here's the thing. If we were to do something like that, with like sound effects and all that stuff, that mean we'd actually have to sit down and actually record these things. That's mm. what would actually have to happen. Yep. I mean, I don't think. Like, yeah. it, it Why don't we just record them when like we stream it? Here's here's what I would do. Here's in. what I would do. I would time everything out to like us reading it, uh, us reading it. I would time everything out to it and be like, okay. But I wouldn't put any of it on screen. I'd just be like, I would just have like a image on screen like we've already had and just the audio for it. And it's like, and then a number like, hey, this is mm -hmm. the page of the Manwa. Here's the next page of the Manwa. And it's like, hey, you need to follow along because we're not a replacement for this. It's like, hey, if be. you want to listen to this, you need to actually purchase the Manwa and read along. So it's kind of encouraging people to buy the manhwa. In a way, it actually yeah. kind of reminds me of the the Sonic audio I'm comic for it. that I'm doing. I'm for it, but yeah, because um, it's so. not. There's no like visual element. It's just me narrating it and with other character people voicing the characters and whatnot. Also, just a heads up, guys. I I am planning on doing some sort of uh, streaming tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna be streaming. But I do, I do know uh, I'm going to be – I can't hydrate with alcohol. I don't have any alcohol. Number one. No. Set it back down. <laughs> there he no, goes. No. Uh, no. He's scattered. Uh, hey, a scamp. That's okay. You can get him when he comes back. Are you back. proud of yourself, scamp. Revan? Look what you did. What Revan did? <laughs> you could I couldn't grab him in time, Richie. I'm it. sorry. He highlighted the goddamn thing. I had to read it. It was a highlighted fucking Oh, post. dude. Sweet Arnold Palmer you have there. I was sitting here. I was sitting here I trying to fucking energy. explain. I was sitting here trying to fucking explain that I have to raise money because I have zero dollars in my account right now. And I have to raise money for bills because my internet bill is due. And, and I got to get my car fixed. So there's two very important things that have to get done. I love it. Like yes, and it's like and 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 what what is the first thing that pops up? Hydrate with alcohol. Fuck you. Got my Kirkland brand regular Scotch water. Hold the Scotch. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. That's the fastest I've ever seen you move, Moon. You were like. I was told to it's hydrate amazing. with alcohol, so no, yeah, you weren't. How to do it for the no, people. you weren't. No, you weren't, buddy. I you didn't get to feel the hear the whole hey, thing. Hey, hey, close your fucking door. Fuck. 
<laughs> I like how that was delayed. I couldn't hear what you said, and then just fuck. Very yeah, good. it was like it was like a really bad Chinese dub. You saw the lips. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't. Like, I wasn't how? prepped fuck. for the line. What the, the what to, what yeah. to, uh, right. to him. When did you think I said that? I literally turned back to. No, no, no. The <laughs> funny thing I is, you we said, saw oh. your mouth. We saw your mouth open up to say the word fuck, and then like half a second later, the word came out of th the the word came through Discord. Yeah, I yeah. know we had that issue yesterday ah, too when me and Moon had And your mouth looked like something. it said, oh, not shit. Oh, uh, yeah. So, was, I thought it was. What was dude, the there were moments. I don't remember the line even. I just dude, remember the last There time were moments where you guys were completely in sync with lines. It was great. It so, was me and, it and like three other either. people. It was not I think planned. It was me and Chef, me and Moon, and I think that me was and so You were at Wraith level of drunk? Well, god damn it. Anyhow. Yeah, see, I can't even come over and get my stuff until my shit is fixed on my car because I'm leaking air. Mm. Lovely. That's not good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going anywhere that is far until I get this air leak fixed because that means I am draining gasoline more than I should be. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So once that's done, that means yes, long it's drives it's will not consume gasoline nearly as much. That having been I'd said. imagine if that was an electric car and you had a leak. How dangerous that could potentially be. Okay. Be that having been said. Be fluid. That having been said. We're about midway through this book. Mm. I say, well, I say a little past midway at this point. A little, mm -hmm. a little bit past midway. You know what? We're doing good. We're, we got we're, we're, we're good fights. Uh, last time on Slime Ballsy. Good morning. You think this is wow? Okay. Good morning. morning. Top of the morning. It's probably to morning you, in Laddie. India. Yeah. It's probably morning in India. Yep, it probably is. <laughs> Why is yeah. that drive not able to? It's My other morning to are waking you. up just now. Good morning. Top to of you. the morning to you. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, Guten Morgen. Good morning. Vutar. Or mm. Vutar. You're perfectly aware it's 1812? Uh, no, it's 812. 1812. Oh, we're military. The 1812 time. overture? No, no, no. It's not 612. It's not 612. Only in the Pacific ah. area. It's uh, technically where, no, uh, My where, done. where I'm at. Yeah, he's not going to be here at all for any of this stuff. Uh, mm. Where I'm at, it's 2012. Mm, oh, I'm not. Okay. I'm not in PST. I'm in CST. I'm. I'm over. Mm. I'm in PST. Yeah, I'm you're the PST. only one in PST. Technically, we have all four time zones here. So the guy mm. that just ran out, he's at twenty one twelve. He's in EST. I'm in mm. twenty twelve. I'm in CST. Shim is in nineteen twelve because you're in MST, and then mm. you're the only one that's in eighteen twelve because you're in PST. Right. Now we need somebody in Alaskan time and then Hawaiian time. <laughs> I'm and sure we could find some talented voice actors in either place. And then some motherfucker in Guam. Well, I'm sure we can find some. Sorry, he's talented in there too, you voice acting wise. Format, you piece of shit. Guam might be a little niche, but yeah, I'm sure you could find somebody. You're D Nail Ill? Yeah. I used to have a full hand, and I always thought those were cool. Uh, whereas I made these I'm when just I was a teenager. Delighted. Oh, what the fuck I think is I that? To say denial. Are those pizza rolls? Popcorn chicken. Oh, okay. I thought they were like That's kind of very shrewd pizza rolls. For a second, I Popcorn thought there was chicken. a plate. I, I thought you brought in like a plate of chicken nuggets, and I was gonna be like, Jesus oh. Christ, dude. He Are hungry. You, do you have a child's I mean, taste buds? He no, it's chicken nuggets. The separation between popcorn chicken and chicken nuggets is um. The shape, so yeah. Yep. So, and so literally, so so you literally are like a child's taste buds, yeah. I like popcorn chicken. Oh, look, yeah. Whatever helps you feel better. I mean, the only the only <laughs> distinction between you and my eleven year old niece is that you can drink alcohol. <laughs> uh, That's still one had, up. Fair enough. I had I mean, ice cream okay, for breakfast okay, one sorry, time. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. College. You can legally drink alcohol. She can technically drink alcohol. She just can't legally drink it. Mm. You still want to hunt Moon? Oh, okay. 
to hunt. I have him. a small gift for the popcorn chicken. 100 bitties. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that. Woo! Hydrate Tried with to popcorn joke chicken. Oh. Denial. Oh, God. Denial. Oh. Okay. I get it. Water from Denial. These sound like tax, abbre- tax abbreviations. That's true. All right. Now that he's back and he's currently putting chicken in his mouth, stuffing his face. She called him. You should do one more piece. Just one. One for good measure. Do it Ladies like and far. gentlemen of the congregation. Now I wanted. Damn it! I was too late. I wanted to do it while no, you were trying to put it in your mouth. Now, just give me the picture. <laughs> you yeah, are a fraction flying of a over the place. Where? Yep. Hold on. Full of vodka, have the plate in his lap and everything. He has Pray to scramble. Now, at the hour of my death, which I hope is soon. Amen. Yeah. No, forget the glass woodhouse. Just give me the. God damn it! I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. I fucking knew it was gonna happen. Hmm? I what fucking knew. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> nothing. Why do you always assume it's me? Why? I didn't say you specifically. <laughs> you said, "What did you do?" I That's was, what you I said. I was saying that you. That doesn't. I doesn't automatically assume you. Yeah, yeah, to be you fair. Did. You assumed that it was you. I was like, okay. You, no, that's that's what you said. <laughs> what did you do? All right. I went chat, sound, but... sound alerts. Sound <laughs> alerts was redeemed, and it started going on loop. And I was like, nah, bro. Okay, so it wasn't uh, happening. Not today. Yeah, I was not. I was not. I was not here for it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, please open. Uh, like, please open your holy books of Remruism. To page 219 of the physical copy. If you're on Kindle, Deacon Shim, what is the page? Uh, 3,144, 3, my lord, out of 5,583. In pages? normal percentages, 57. Right. Yeah, well, that's the location. I don't know why it's not showing page number. Jesus but Christ. it is, says fifty seven percent on the way through. So yeah, no three thousand exactly fifty seven percent one hundred and forty five. Lord, yeah, because that's normal ways to fucking double check label a book numerically. Yeah, exactly. All right. Also, sorry. Every time I wear these, I think of like, like, what if we kissed in front of the hot topic? <laughs> God I damn it. I don't want you here to fight, but to kiss. How to you or how to unicorns fuck? Uh, <laughs> they touch tips. <laughs> they touch yep. tips. Exactly. Nur. How two unicorns and making out. And that's how the mule was yep. born. Two yep. unicorns making out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Anyway. Um, Sorry. Moon, uh, Bookwalker, yes. what page? Yep. We are on page 232 or two. Actually, it's probably 233 <laughs> on Bookwalker. All right. Shem. Yeah. It is. He's getting into character. Sorry, I was trying to either do the Gurren Logon shades. Yeah, I was. He's I getting was, right. I was, about to, I was about to say, uh, believe in you that believes in the me that believes in the One Piece. I do have that wall scroll over there somewhere. Mm-hmm. But anyway. It's right off screen. You can't see I it. mean, yep. yeah. I I sleep maybe I should get night. one mm-hmm. for that over there. Just wall scrolls are pretty right cool. here should get like a wall scroll or something. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll fill <laughs> that space. Are you, mm-hmm. are you are you are you, are you on the page that you need to be? Yes. Like, cool, because I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. <laughs> Take a good hard look at my at the motherfucking, motherfucking boat. Fucking boat. Hell yeah! I got a nautical theme patch made at Afghan. I'm the king of the world. nautical nonsense do be something I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. What what the fuck happened here? It's like it apparently happened. there's like some sort of a hype train trying to get started. What? Woo! Hype train! Since when? No, okay, so a hype train started on our channel about three minutes ago. Okay. That's cool. Choo choo, everybody, all aboard the hype train. Man, we're today's headed been to. kind of good for me. I mean, outside of the whole back of the file thing. I mean,. I got a video out. That's already at 400 views. And then we have a hype train here. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, bound yeah, for getting yeah. the fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, man. Uh, I don't know where my head's at right now. Shem, please get us started. 
Okay. The gutter. Uh, <laughs> no, that's where your head is there. at. That, that your head never always. leaves the gutter. Mm. It's not wrong. <laughs> also, Moon, out, Moon, uh, Moon, do me a favor. Mm? Yeah. Try, try to stay uh, uh, <clears throat> on topic for this stream because I may be switching over to you at a, at any moment. Mm. <clears throat> so don't that on topic meaning meaning don't just jump between like conversation to conversation while we're doing this i've been i've been watching you over the last week or so and now i'm starting to pick up patterns and i know when it is that somebody else is reading and you're not paying he has attention the phone in his hand <laughs> yeah, yeah menacingly I'm like, eats popcorn hey. chicken yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I know, I know when you're in a conversation. I'm following. I know when you're in a conversation, and that conversation is you paying attention to slime and you paying attention to boobies. Like I know the difference because there's a difference in your smile. <laughs> yeah. Titty. Yeah, he has a really shit. Okay, so we could tell he he when would not be reading, good at poker. Here, here, all right. Here's the problem. All right, we we don't like we don't like infidelity here. Okay. Mm. When when it's slime time, you focus on Shion's titties. <laughs> Put the phone down. She demands respect. They demand the respect. It's, I it's it's difficult to read a Gotta book with one there, hand. That's all I'm saying. I can't. I don't think I can what do the do space dandy thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go over there and give them the respect they deserve. <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> Would it make yeah. you feel better hmm. if I told you they were watching too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're watching this. We would yeah. say hello. That's, watching that's you, specifically watching that is them. specifically mm. why I'm calling you out because I know they're watching. Mm. Lurking in chat. Because it's not just you. It's not just you <clears throat> I'm calling out. Chat spoiler alert, it's me. Hi. He's Hi. texting me. Hi. Keep oh, him oh, on oh, point. Oh, Don't oh. let him get distracted today. Mm. He is on you, he is, you're, he you're is forgetting a, who you, you are misunderstanding who's doing the distracting. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I am I'm asking them to not share with you while the mm. show is going on. Whoever they are. Whoever Link they is. the person of the, the quintessential, other it takes the quintessential two to they dance. them. Mm-hmm. I bet that's going to be a good OVA. So, I love so if there, if if there's just literally, all I'm saying is, literally. all I'm saying is, hey, just a two-hour ban, just a two-hour ban. That's all. <laughs> that's eh, sometimes two and a half hour. <laughs> Starting now. Starting right meow. Crunch. He's he's eating his chicken. He's good. Crunch. His hands are full he's anyway. Got, he can't he's do got anything, his phone in one hand and chicken in the other. His, what his a guy. Phone, his phone's his he's got his phone in one hand and his meat in the other. He's okay. Oy, oy, oy. All right. I get it because meat means something his different meat. in this country. <laughs> his breaded meat. Oh. No. Oh, Can't boy. be. <laughs> Dude, would I know that you're not paying attention? <laughs> Like, it's different for me, motherfucker. I've read this shit already. <laughs> but I kind of need you to pay attention. No, I, I don't do pop quizzes, but I kind of need <laughs> you to pay attention. But oh, now that I know, I quiz on this. but now that I know that you're <laughs> not even paying attention now. to Shem, I'm like, bro, come on. It's It's fine. I just like reading. <laughs> I can have split focus for one, and for two, <laughs> I can hear him. Yeah, yeah, it's like listening fair. to an audiobook. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'm just here to read. It's okay. Until he has to be the one to read. Yeah, that's that's. Are we working okay. on Digimon? Digimon try abridged. Were we oh, ever? No. Were we? First, I'm hearing a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's new for us. I was not aware. People don't tell me nothing. If if Tony and them are working family. on it, that's the first time I've heard of it. Mm. Same. I think that's a different group. Oh, you're thinking about Fat Cat Studios? Sorry. Fat <laughs> Cat Studios, as opposed to yeah. Fat Dog? Speak. Yeah. Don't talk about Fat Cat Studios. No, no, I think it's, um... 
I think it's a obese canine. It's obese, obese canine. canine. <laughs> obese canine uh, atelier. Because that's a different kind of studio. Okay. Why is that not mm. showing up? As well? That is a Fat Tony question. Yeah, I don't know. Are are we working on Digi? You thought Azure Crow joined us. We're not the schmucks. Diaboramon. I wish. Hmm. I mean, what? Diaboramon? No, dude. Oh, my God. That's the Digimon. Sorry, no, that's the movie. That's the Digimon yeah. movie, and that shit. Put it on a shirt! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're all- <laughs> that shit was so funny. Okay, let's go I ahead and get that. started, Shim. Okay. Meanwhile, Gozaline, the final survivor out of the three generals, was up against an unexpectedly formidable foe. With the defeat of their commander, Gradim, the Magical Beast Division had fallen into great disarray. Before they could even attempt to fully regroup, a huge force of demons flew into the picture. Huge, perhaps, was overstating it. They were about 500 in all, but their huge. qualities made each of them Oh, sorry. What? Huge. Just huge. huge. They were huge. huge. Yeah. We're 500 in all, but their qualities made each of them a one-man army. These were the Diable Chevaliers, a fearsome force under the direct command of the demon Lord Rimuru. And while Chimera Knights were nearly twice as powerful as them in terms of magicules, they were having surprising difficulty gaining the upper hand in battle. That's how much more capable they were as fighters. Seeing things not go their way made Gozaline's frustration grow. And it was right at that moment when Destiny came knocking. What's that? A writhing shadow appeared at the edge of her vision. Something about it made her instincts set off alarm bells. She turned her eyes away from the battle, trying to figure out what it was. She was right tr- to do so, for if this shade had been left unattended, she would have died without ever knowing what happened to her. Although it could be said that she'd have been happier that way. The shadowy figure was undulating right where the wreckage of the demon colossus was lying. Now it stood before Gozaline, who was still trying to figure it out. But for you, her now... You hmm. have officially been cast for a role now. Ooh. Which oh, role? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's the Oh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, from this point forward, you were voicing all Ghidorah lines. Ooh. You now Ghidorah. have a character. All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the funny part is... Uh, for for this next point, it's a it's mm-hmm. young Ghidorah. Ooh, yeah. So you can get my handsome okay. voice. Yeah. <laughs> so I normally do this. Mm. All right. Oh, Before thank you. Now. Oh, oh uh, guys, really quickly, I just wanted to, mm-hmm. I wanted to because uh, <laughs> uh, Kaid just said thanks for answering. You're all awesome. Love your slime content, and I was so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love thank you. you. Uh, thank you so thank much. Thank you for being here. Uh, by the way, the guy reading is our Soe. That uh, mm-hmm. number one. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the I'm the ridiculous voice that does Great Sage. Hi, that's me, and I'm also the mm-hmm. writer and director for Slime. So I really do appreciate that you like it. We're trying to get Slime Nine out. I swear to God, it's the episode that is cursed. Like just when we think we've got everything finished, something happens that delays mm-hmm. it again. Like. Uh, we finally got everything ready, but then we, uh, realized that it was like the last scene of the show before the credits start rolling. Isn't really a very strong scene and it wasn't really all that funny. It just seemed lame and it's not Mm. a good enough scene to actually end season one on. So we decided to just scrap that scene, take the post credit scene and put that as our ending scene and then write a new ending, uh, write a new post credit scene that kind of teases up season two. Um, and so we needed new dialogue for that. And we recorded, uh, we only had two people speaking. We recorded one of the person, but the other person that needed to speak, well, right when it was time to record, they got strep throat. <laughs> so yeah. it's just, and it's just kind of been ping ponging. And it's like, Right when they recovered, they got kidnapped by their grandparents. So it's like, no. <laughs> so we're hoping to be able to record with them this week uh, if all goes well. Slime mm-hmm. Slime sixty nine is never coming, Sag. Uh, oh. We've got a lot of stuff that we're working on. As soon as Slime Nine is done, I've got one person that I'm trying to get a hold of and find out if they're available to record, and then I will have all of Spider recorded, and then uh, we're. F- I've still got to finish up Konosuba's script. Like I said, it's 90% complete. 
Mm. But yeah, I mean, what I have written, I really like. I'm just waiting to hear back from people to read it and tell me what they think. So, mm. Take your time. You're willing, to, you're willing to read. I gotta finish reading it. You're waiting for season three of Slime. Uh, good news. You got about like a month mm. and uh, a month and like ten days. Some change. Mm-hmm. A month and ten days. Dude, you're getting Slime Four Season days. 3 in the second half of Mashoku Tensei Season 2 in the same season. It's going to be good. Mm. Also, good you don't ha- dude, while you're waiting, might I recommend, if you're not already watching them, Free Run and Apothecary Diaries. Uh, Free Run is very good. They're both really, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> so just those, those are my top two of this season. Uh, solo leveling is my strong third. You guys are doing so I'm a spider so I am we are yes I am writing a two page short I I've written a two page short for uh so I abridged a spider so what it is a very very short thing and it is connected to the log horizon abridged slash slime universe yeah mm-hmm. so yes that is that is happening and so is the Konosuba one shot it's also connected. This was watching episodes one and two of Free Run before this. Yeah, Free Run's awesome. I it love is. I love that I love that Giga was talking about it and <clears throat> like one of his friends, he was talking to one of his friends, he goes, Oh, you mean side quest, the anime? I hate mm, how, how accurate dare you. that I hate how accurate that <laughs> statement is because it's so how fucking dare you. true. How dare you how dare say you something be absolutely so, correct? How, how dare you be how so dare correct? You trigger me. It's yeah. so true though! Fuck. You, you, like you want so hard to be like he's out of line, but he's right. But you're not. He's I not would say it's more like post game the anime. I, it really quest, is. The it's anime. It's literally uh, post game content. Mm-hmm. So brave yet so. What's the word? So controversial. That's it. Yeah. So How can you say something so brave yet so controversial? Uh... I'm just saying, guys, if you have not if you have not watched Apothecary Diaries, you need to. As soon as you get to episode four, you will see that while this is a series that takes place in China, it, it definitely has some Native American roots because this girl is from the Slapaho tribe. <laughs> I get it. All right. That was a good that was a good lead in. <laughs> anyway. All right. Okay. And you need to stitch Try that to ass up. Yes, please. Please continue. Okay. The shadowy figure was undulating right before the wreckage of the demon Colossus was lying. Now it stood before Gozaline, who was still trying to figure it out. Before her now was a handsome, topless young man with black hair that reached down to his waist. His skin was a dark shade of brown with a dull sheen to it. It almost seemed to be metallic in nature, but in fact, from the waist down, the man had merged himself with the ruined demon Colossus. Before Gozaline's eyes, the wreckage melted into a liquid metal changing its shape as the man's lower body did the same. Yep, yeah, now we have to wait. Aw, oh, man. Why'd you wait. bolt? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he seems to have forgotten. Oh. Maybe he's... Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. At least he wasn't gone for long. He had you could have waited. Oh. You could have waited. He had a pee. Also... He had a pee. Oh. Because I forgot to turn the oven off. I couldn't wait. Oh. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, we don't. Want... You dumbass. <laughs> we don't want to turn around and be yeah, like, "Good lord, what is you happening didn't hear in there?" Me say that earlier. I was sitting. No, sitting there still eating. Like, did I turn the oven off? Yeah. I didn't hear that part. I was <laughs> no. Like, oh. Are we gonna? Is it gonna be like one of those? Good lord, what is happening in there? You dummy. Yep. <clears throat> I was hoping. You are correct. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Yeah, you you have the oh my, I'm naked. Yeah, but knock knock a bitch knock a bitch out doesn't sound like a Native Mm -hmm. American tribe. Slapaho sounds like, you know, uh, like an actual Native American name. No, no, knock a bitch out is the uh, homestead they have. (laughs) I am of the Slapaho tribe, and welcome to my home. Knock a bitch out. (laughs) You got knocked the fuck out, man. This is this is her husband. Three tracks in snow. And this is <laughs> all right. Anyway, this is his ex, Incontinentia. Anyways. Incontinentia, Incontinentia Bucks. Bucks, okay. the third. Yes. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Also, go did ahead. you give me this voice line just so I would I would have to pay attention to everything? Yes. Just, just checking. Yes. Thought so. Also, because uh, he's kind of cool. 
Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. I'm naked, aren't I? How mortifying. The man's tone of voice, extremely ill-befitting his good looks, was identical to that of the enemy Gozalin had just been fighting. I hesitate to ask, but are you Lord Ghidorah? The man grinned at her. <laughs> well, of oh, course oh. I am. Or did you think you had me beat back there? Well, not if I have anything to say about it. The mysterious nude man was Lord Ghidorah himself. Are, are you kidding me? You used a self-destruct spell to end your own life. How can you be alive when you burned away your existence like that? Yeah, Those Voltorb. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. A system it had a focus. Well, actually, no. Voltorb, you self-destruct. It was kind of effective. Kind of effective. It was very hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is now. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of hot. It was kind of mm. hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is now. I mean, under a lot of pressure, things do tend to explode, so oh, it's okay. Yeah. No, under it. pressure. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Gozaline was having trouble trying to comprehend this, but Ghidorah's words were putting her into a full-blown full blown panic. Excuse me. She tried to seize the conversation, not wanting to be swept away by him any further. Ah, uh, I remember now. I used the elemental magic sacrifice to do myself in, didn't I? And you think I died from that? Well, a man of my stature can never truly die by suicide. And I'd advise you to never rest on your laurels until the battle is fully at an end. Ghidorah quickly created some clothing to put on as he spoke. It wasn't very flattering for him, but he figured it beat remaining naked like this. Enough blather! Answer my question! Why is it always for her resting part? on laurel, by the way? That <laughs> bitch is ugly. <laughs> okay. Look, she's really Understood. supportive, okay? Yeah. It's It's... The, the problem is it's not just one, it's several laurels. Like, like, well, several hold, laurels. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Multiple hold on. laurels. Hmm. You said she's supportive, but like lumbar supportive? Like what, mm. what kind of supportive are we talking about? Emotionally supportive. Yeah, yeah. Emotional <laughs> damage. They answered all of that. Emotional damage. Yeah, just is yes. <laughs> yes. Gozaline, for her part, wanted to be rid of Ghidorah without a second thought, but she found herself taking a cautious stance. He was supposed to be completely dead, yet here he was, back to life. She couldn't know if he'd be fully honest with him, so regardless of his response... <laughs> Gozaline intended to put all her energy into her next attack. Knowing this old man, I'm sure he's up to one trick or another. Maybe he prepared some kind of substitute sacrifice in advance. He wants to disturb me, I'm sure, but I know my power can crush any stupid game of his. Her magisteel body, despite appearances, was extremely heavy. Even if she just rammed into him, it'd still be a shuddering impact with high enough speed. Gated What's more, if she... I mean... Mm. Mm. If she launched a high-frequency <laughs> mince strike with all her tentacles, they'd turn into living bullets that shredded anything they touched. Gozaline concentrated all her strength in her legs. Picturing herself as a cannonball, she triggered an explosion in the earth to gain propulsive force, another one of her secret abilities. Now her aim was squarely upon Ghidorah, but the old sorcerer, unaware of this, began to offer a sincere commentary on what just happened. That's right. I have been reincarnated. You see, I prepared a mysterious art known as reincarnation in advance for a situation just like this one. Using it means saying goodbye to this world for a while, but it also grants me a new life while retaining all my memories. It was a wonderful thing, you know. Uh, and? Well, the success rate isn't all, er, isn't all that high with it, but the potential rewards you reap are incredible. And by this point, I've been reincarnated so many times that it's all but guaranteed to work. It's a fact. It's a the you... Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a fact. The first time you attempt something is when you're least likely to pull it off correctly. Adelman had failed at this, and it certainly wasn't because Ghidorah was unskilled. For himself, Ghidorah always had a few magic spells set up in advance that could be invoked instantly when needed. People like Razan could per maybe prepare, prepare one or two of these at a time, but Ghidorah always had at least three ready at all times. One was a teleport magic for quick escape, another was a self-destruct spell to take his own life, and he made sure that the reincarnation spell was always active, so he'd be safe even if death took him. He was certainly a cautious caster, but this time uh, something unforeseen had happened. Upon invoking reincarnation, Ghidorah's soul had escaped from his physical body. Protected by magic, the soul was supposed to enter the uh, re-enter the cycle of reincarnation, searching for his next body. But then a certain promise came into play. 
Ghidorah had previously asked Diablo to become his apprentice, but this application had been put on hold. Normally, Diablo would have rejected it immediately, but the demon had taken a liking to Ghidorah thanks to their shared high praise of Rimuru's, Rimuru's magic. You are an interesting man, Diablo told him at a party, and I never dislike interesting people. I will make you one of my own if I decide that you are truly useful to Sir Rimuru. The sorcerer assumed that this was just Diablo's way of saying no while being polite about it, but still he did his level best, hoping to win the demon's approval. However, by that time, he had already fallen into his subductive trap. His reincarnation spell had been rewritten, unbeknownst to him. Now, if he chose to die for Rimuru's sake, it was possible for him to be reborn as a demon. Demons, of course, were a race born with fighting abilities, and since Ghidorah was now one, or was now one, with his old memories and all, it was only natural that he'd have a very special incarnation. The one hitch was his physical body. As spiritual life forms, demon needed those in order to remain in, in this world. Ghidorah would normally have to possess, uh, either possess someone's corpus or contact Diablo and ask for a summoning. But with seal manifesting in Rimuru's mind, fate was quickly working for him as well. If you seek a physical body, I will grant it to you. I will give you more power as well, so... So, the voice concluded, please be useful to Sir Rimuru. This was a dream come true for Ghidorah. Of course. He all but shouted. Hold on, no, I did that. <laughs> yeah. He did that wrong. Of course. Of course. Of course. He shouted. <laughs> yeah. He all but Earnesty. shouted. And with that, the contract was concluded. This was the birth of a brand new race, the Metal Demons. Now his body was clad in black, in per as perhaps befitting his roots in a dark tribe. <laughs> His hair, eyes, and skin were all dark shades. Am I the only one that thought Metalocalypse? <laughs> I, I thought I just heard. I thought I thought that too. That's all I was thinking of. Do last. Yeah, you have to do the strong bed. You have to hold two orbs in. Oh, that's. I know. I know that's not Metalocalypse, but still. Hmm. Yeah. Mermaider, mermaid, 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 yeah. Mermaid, that's that's mermaid, metal apocalypse. There you go. I still can't believe the lead singer was in fucking home movies of all things. Dude, no, Sorry. no, no. My my favorite is my yeah. favorite is literally mm. like I, I know it's metal apocalypse, metal but singer. Yeah. My, I know it's metal apocalypse, but all I can picture is the Batman thing. Yeah, that's that's the mermaid right. or mermaider. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rise, 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 rise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, Metal demons. <laughs> now yeah, his body was clad in black. Sorry. Go ahead. Go for saying? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. As perhaps befitting his roots in a dark tribe, his hair, eyes, and skin were all dark shades, but they also had a metallic luster to them, giving him something of an artificial, man made atmosphere. But he wasn't modeled after the old Ghidorah. Instead, he was based on a previous incarnation. His very first life, in fact, as a young man. It was reproduced from the memories engraved in his soul, not based on anything from his newfound species. In fact, thanks to being a new race, he wasn't bound by any of the typical restrictions demon f demons faced. The current Ghidorah's magical count was comparable to the out-of-control claimant, and together with his knowledge and experience from previous lives, there was no doubt, or he was no doubt far stronger now. Ghidorah truly felt reborn, and as if to savor this, he was now feeling rather talkative as he sized up Gozaline. You, so you've become a metal demon? This brand new thing? She asked him. It certainly seems that way, yes. And let me warn you, I've become quite a bit more powerful. I'd suggest surrendering right now, in fact, because you don't stand at any chance at all. Do so and I'll spare your life in the name of your former comrades. Only a fool would agree to that! Ready and waiting for the opportunity, Gozaline rushed towards Ghidorah, her tremendous speed turning her body into a massive bullet. Ghidorah, she thought, was too busy prattling away to cope with it all. But the next moment, her eyes widened in surprise. Just before she reached him, her body was forced against her will in another direction. Mm. Strange, isn't it? Wait, this is... Yeah, this yeah is that's you. him. Yeah, that's him. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Just make sure. Mm. Strange, mm. isn't it? Well, to put it in simple terms, I used magic to manipulate the local magnetism to create a powerful magnetic field. Apply a current to it, and I can place an electromagnetic force on a given target, like I did just now. The target, in this case, was Gozaline. 
For someone like Ghidorah, while studied in the science of other worlds, there was a lot he could do with his magic. Cor corralling Gozaline's greatest skills was no sweat for him. You. Oh, sorry, that's still me. Ghidorah aloofly stood here, a large book in his left hand. He used his right to turn the pages with care. How do you like it? Now do you understand my powers? Now go ahead and surrender for me, please. Gozaline interpreted this as condescension. He didn't mean it that way, but to her this was a wound on her pride as a strong woman. That's why surrender wasn't an option. All right. I didn't want to break this out, but I see I must make up my mind. So Gozaline swallowed her pills and launched the beast. This was going to unlock untold force within her, just as it did for Baraga, but Ghidorah had no reason to wait for it. Oh dear. Well, in that case, you can be the subject I'll test my new power out on. Ghidorah looked on with delight, like a scientist staring at a guinea pig. <laughs> Limited hell flare! No, wait. Shit. Yeah, that's that's a little... <laughs> Look at yeah. the rock bag. Yeah. Ultimate gift, grimoire, unfold. The book in his left hand glowed with an ominous light. Inside of it was all the magic that Rimuru, or in essence, Seal, controlled. Seeing all the beautiful magic formulas that lined the pages, Ghidorah's face lit up in ecstasy. Then he selected the most suitable, or the one most suitable for this exact moment. Limited Hell Flare! This was an art developed by Benimaru, and, but Rimuru had made it into a skill for his own purposes. And since magic it is itself a kind of skill, it was listed in his grimoire. Huh? It was an inferior version compared to what its inventor could conjure, but it was still no slouch power-wise. And with it, before she understood what was happening, Gozaline was set ablaze, instantly scorched beyond repair. I wanted to brag about it a little more, but oh well. Ghidorah attempted to stroke his beard as he muttered this, only to find nothing there. Not even a little stubble. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it all! I look like a young man now, don't I? Well, I can't have that. My hair's dark as night, too. I'll need to invest in some dye, I suppose. Oh, wait. Actually, I can cast some transformation magic to handle that, can't I? Let's see. So he gleefully began flipping through his grimoire. <laughs> For a hair-changing spell, that's cool. Oh, no, okay. no. Like, literally, huh. he changes his appearance back to his former self so he can go back to stroke. Ah, oh, that's much mm. better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my okay. beard. Oh. Mm. Meanwhile, the other person's just like, eh. Like, like just no, guys, ashes. do not understand how broken this is. He has yeah. access to every piece of magic that Seal has access to. Yeah, that's kind of that's fucked up. That is so fucking. Ghidorah broken. got a massive fucking power creep. His oh. his grimoire, it's like it's, it's like a his seal. No, no, literally, literally, it's like his grimoire is everybody's grimoire from Black Clover. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> it's broken it's as hell. Up. That's it's fucked up. So broken. Just as a test uh. drive, as a test drive. He took, he took, basically Benny Maru's Hell Flare slash Amaterasu ability just out for a test drive. Yeah, he's like, that's oh, yeah, what he gonna... did. Oh, right. it's God it's the Book of Tempest. Yeah, it's, it's literally the Book of Tempest. Yeah, it's it's the it's written the, it's, the Tempest it's, cheat code. It's the, the little cheat by seal. It's the little it's the little golden book of Necronomicon. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's... Yeah, like in the corner, author is Seal, and then who's who published it? Just the <laughs> just Reaver. Seal. Just Reaver. Molly Mile. Oh. Molly Mile published it. There Mo you go. No, he was He's not even no. here. No, Molly Mile wants no part of this. We'll just say it was Reaver and move on. He is. Yeah, he's I mean, he's not even the here. Magic. I want no part of it. <laughs> well, yeah, just, you have to be there to publish the book, but yeah. Whatever. I guess so, but still. All right, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, on one second, what the hell happened. Page. One Mississippi. Uh, Two hold Mississippi. On. Okay. Anyway, thus Gradham and the other main leaders of the Magical Beast Division were all dead, but there was still danger on the battlefield, and the source of that danger was currently delighted to see Gradham's head rolling in front of him. Fuck. What a lovely the, piece. Huh? I just had Sorry, the funniest thought. 
Hmm. Now I just now I just had a thought of like Moon at a convention just going oh book doing the, the <laughs> little wiggly fingers. <laughs> oh book. From Hocus oh, book. book. Yeah. And then the book goes flying to <laughs> like <laughs> Harry Potter style. No, no, like Hocus that. Pocus. Yeah. Fucking Hocus I Pocus. Love that movie. <laughs> yeah. That's actually pretty great. <laughs> then they try oh, hanging me God. for witchcraft. I start singing. Witchcraft. I put a spell yeah. on you. Oh, and, now and now you're mine. mine. Bow, bow, he, bow. Yeah. He starts doing that. Rimuru just walks up, smacks him. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Sir Rimuru. He's having fun. <laughs> Sir having too much fun stop. here. It's like, Sir Rebu, stop it! Diablo just walks over, and grabs you by the ear. Now, now. How are you guys doing tonight? Not bad, Guapa. Not bad. We're having a good time. We're yeah. having a good time. Yeah. Having a good time. Having a good time. Good time. Yeah. I'm a superstar that can go to Mars. Uh, not, oh, God, not bad, Guapa. Not bad. I'm a satellite. All right. And it can drop. Sorry. No, you're good. You're uh, good. Uh, and the source of that danger was currently delighted to see Gradam's head rolling in front of him. <laughs> oh dear. What a lovely piece of prey to dine on. The one who took his head in hand and devoured it without hesitation was Vega, the power, one of the leaders of Cerberus. He had been undercover in the Magical Beast Division under orders from Yuki, as he, and as he chewed on the remains of Gradam, he found his body beginning to teem with power. His limber physique, looking like it belonged to a carnivorous beast, grew one size larger, until he was as tall as a six-foot-eight Gradam. The upgrade to his musculature made his uniform look swollen on him. Mm, not bad, but not good enough yet. Mm, but as Vega murmured to himself, three sizes that day. Yeah, just <laughs> along with the rest of him. Yeah, <laughs> never seen any. Meanwhile, Bulked goes to the up. hospital. Well, never if it seen lasts anything longer than like four it. hours. Yeah, <laughs> it's terribly dangerous. He's uh, just sitting to be in the fucking medical office. Uh, it's a little awkward. <laughs> it hasn't gone down for All over right, four hours. What seems to be the issue? Uh, well, hard for three uh, are you talking about your? So, what kind of medications were you taking? Uh, He's got uh, an issue. Here's a tissue. I think just you some... have a different issue than what I'm thinking. About. <laughs> just some Prozac for my allergies. <laughs> oh, Ironically God. enough, I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Or, as Vega muttered to himself, he kept finding more and more tasty prey. The charred Nazim, the vermilion bird, the dismembered Baraga, the azure dragon, and Gozaline, the black tortoise, now just a pile of melted metal. Hmm. Silently, he snuck up to their resting places, quietly partaking in each one without anyone noticing, a feat made possible by his own innate power, the unique skill scavenger. Vega was born in Inglacia's royal capital. He wasn't aware of it, but one of his parents was a former magical inquisitor for the government who was turned into a magic born. Taking in too many magical elements, his father could no longer return to human form. In a craze, he attacked his mother, and Vega was the result. He was thus a cast-off from birth, a freak. The gestation was only about three days, and he had full sentience and awareness from the day he was born. As an infant, with no reason or language skills, he was feared as a monster by those around him, including his mother. Instead of being given love, he was nearly killed and forced into hiding. But over the next decade or so, Vega found ways to survive. He ate rats, scavenged scraps, and did whatever it took to stay alive. Finally, after a fight, he consumed a human being who was near death, and that was when he realized it. All around him, there was so much prey everywhere. Now that he had come to prey on humans as well, Vega had turned into a monster in name indeed. The Order naturally came to dispatch this abomination, and it was Yuki who took charge. With the help of Shizuizawa, who was already acting as his instructor at the time, he successfully captured Vega. But although he should have been rightfully executed, Vega felt that Ve or Yuki felt that Vega's strength was too much to let go to waste. He was gifted with a stout body and exceptional fighting senses, and Yuki also thought he had potential for further growth. With the right training, he could even become a useful pawn for him. So Yuki tricked Shizu into believing he had taken care of Vega. He then reached out to Damrata to save to have this monster raised in the Empire, and now he had grown up to become a fearsome warrior. Da 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 da. And fortunately for Vega, the battle between the Diablo Chevalier reinforcements and the Chimera Knights was growing more and more intense. Thanks to that, he could fulfill his personal mission without attracting attention. The limbs of a tenacious beast, a body of hard majesteel, and the power of a magic-repelling dragon, even wings that could soar through the sky, Vega found them all in short order. Even better, he had picked up the Azure Dragon, Azure Dragon Spear, excuse me, a god-class weapon, and not yet recognized him as its master, but Vega didn't mind. 
He poured his own power into it, forcing it to become one with him, literally bending its very will. It was the power of Control Metal, a skill he picked up from the consumption of Gozoline. Taking in a god-class weapon like this transformed Vega's entire body into an even more ominous form. The eerie alien-like armor covering him made him truly unidentifiable as a magic-born, and by this point, Gabiru and the others were finally taking notice. But look Another giant mystery magic-born! Gabiru's forces let out exhausted minds at his excited shouting. But Sir Gabiru, we've got our hands full! Indeed. It's battle after battle here. Our supplies are running low. What should we do, Sir Gabiru? Their consternation was understandable. Team Hiryu was heavily fatigued and reaching its limits. If the Diana Chevaliers had arrived any later, the front lines would have fallen long ago. After all, they had been heavily relying upon the Beastmasters Warrior Alliance, along with the Heaven Flyers, and now they were both away from the front. Oh, crap, Sufia first said. When Gabiru asked what was wrong, she replied that, was, that she was, like, insanely sleepy. Then it dawned on him. It had begun. The evolutionary slumber was a key part of the Harvest Festival at the worst possible moment. Carry on and Frey were both very close to awakening, so this much was a foregone conclusion. It was an irresistible, unbearable, physiological phenomenon, and there was no point complaining about it. So Gabiru and his crew were struggling to keep this patch of space protected all by themselves. Other units were also engaging the enemy in their own discretion, but Gabiru's force was anchored to the spot, further adding to their intense fatigue. Seeing Vega show up in the midst of, of this made the blood drain from his face. Oh, sorry, this is Ghidorah. Do not worry, Sir Gabiru. Allow me to reason with this one first. His name is Vega, and he's a friend of that young boy, Yuki. The sudden presence of Ghidorah did much to calm Gabiru. I hope that you will, then. You are in good hands. The two men, who had become friends somewhere along the line, smiled and nodded at each other. Then Ghidorah stepped towards Vega. It's been a long time. Oh, wait, sorry, that's you. Yep. It's been a long time, Vega. Hmm. Oh, old man Ghidorah, huh? I heard you switch sides to the demon Lord Rimuru, but I guess that story was true. Mm-hmm. And that means I'm fighting alongside Yuki here. But I'm glad to see you. If I weren't around, they would have treated you as their enemy. Really? Vega glanced at Ghidorah, who approached him in a friendly, aloof manner. Then he immediately averted his eyes. To him, there were far more interesting business, or there was far more interesting business to attend to. Now he was staring at Carrion and Frey, and around them, even more delicious-looking things to prey on. His mouth was salivating profusely, his mind ecstatic as it pondered how the meat would taste. I can serve as your middleman with them, so if you could kindly lend a hand to us. Bwah! <laughs> Ghidorah had tried to pat Vega on the shoulder in a friendly manner, but Vega's fist quickly knocked him away. He'd taken it straight to the face, completely caught off guard. Vega, by now, had powered himself up to the point where he surpassed an awakened demon lord, one with over twice as many magic kills as Ghidorah. Even as a metal demon with excellent physical defense, he was still no match for Vega, whose entire body was god-class magisteel. With a single blow, he was knocked into unconscious silence. But Lord Ghidorah! I knew I couldn't count on that, or I, I knew I couldn't count on that man, Gabiru thought as he shouted. Given the amount of confidence Ghidorah brimmed with, he couldn't be blamed for thinking that. Now his hopes were banished and his mind filled with disappointment. And even worse, Vega's powers were beyond imagination. Now this monster was eyeing Carrion and Frey, not bothering to hide his intentions as he licked his lips. His purpose was clear. If he wasn't defeated, he'd gain access to even more almighty power. They didn't even know if they could win, and if Vega succeeded, he'd become truly unstoppable then. Gabiru, at least, would have no chance of winning, so everyone would just have to do their best against him. I enjoy standing out like- oh, sorry. I always enjoy standing out like this, but this is perhaps too much of a good thing. He was beginning to regret this a little. Gabiru was ready to take a step forward, but stopped when he realized someone was in front of him. Uh... Eh, Gabiru, let me take care of this one for you. Oh ho! Sir Laplace, is it not? Why are you here? Well, because everybody left me alone, he almost said before falling silent. It would make him look far too awkward. But why do you think? To help you out, of course. Ah, how wonderfully reassuring, Sir Laplace. Yeah, y'all can rest easy with me around. Forcibly concluding his chat with Gabiru, Laplace turned towards Vega, his presumed friend. So, Vega... Why'd you punch out old man Ghidorah like that? He spun around lightly as he asked. It annoyed Vega. Oh, ain't it obvious? Because the old man was trying to block me. Lock you? Uh-huh. 
can't let someone blocking you from a good meal keep on living. Or can't let someone blocking you from a good meal keep on living. And that's why you better stay out of this too, Lapless. You're an old friend, so I'll let you off the hook this time. Lapless stopped spinning. You got a funny sense of humor, you know that? Don't you think you're forgetting your place a little? His timber of his, or the timber of his voice was the same as before, but the atmosphere around it was so tense that it felt like something entirely different, but Vega didn't care. Huh? My place? You think you're in a place to give me orders? I heard that bastard Yuki got defeated by Ludora, and I only take orders from people stronger than me. He guffawed at that, his laughter echoing across the battlefield. Well, that sure ain't funny. You got no gift for Kami at all, man. It wasn't meant to be. The guttural laughter abruptly stopped. An instant, Lapless came right up to Vega, clutching him by the neck. Yo, some respect, huh? For us, it's your, or it's your ass. He lifted him into the air, piping half its size. Vega struggled, arms and legs flailing about. Breathing was no longer necessary for him, but he still wasn't used to that. So this treatment was still deeply disconcerting. Lapless, meanwhile, landed an explosive knee on his body, and hanging by the neck as he was, he had no way of escaping it. He cowered on the ground once Lapless loosened his grip, trying to catch his breath. Uh, w wait! I'm sorry I got carried away. I'm calmer now. Please forgive me. Lapless was thinking of giving Vega a kick to the head, but this pleading made him reconsider. I ain't as nice as my boss, he coldly muttered. Don't expect any second chances. I... I know. Right. So be nice and stick with me, won't you? And don't try anything funny, or I'll make sure you pay for it. Vega nodded. All right, so what are we doing now? I'm going to be headed over to our president. I'm figuring she can probably do something to help Tyr and Footman get back to normal. We got to find a way, right? Or else we'll never save the boss. So whatever you do, don't stray from me, okay? Or okay? R right, right. Vega nodded deeply in agreement. His eagerness to please Lapless suggested just how scared he was of him. Lapless just sighed at the sight. Everything all right, then? Ghidorah asked worriedly, now back on his feet. Old man! Vega, or Vega instinctively braced himself for combat. Ah, Lord Ghidorah, you are well now. Gabiru was happy to see him, if a little surprised. So you were all right, then. Or, so you were all right, eh, old man? Lapless wasn't surprised at all, as he had expected this. But of course, I did lose consciousness for a moment, but I was fully prepared with my emergency measures. I was just pretending to be down because then I could catch him off guard and hit him with one of my best spells. The ultimate gift Grimoire was equipped with Mind Accelerate and Parallel Computation, almost as if that was a given. With it in hand, even when he was knocked out, a parallel line of thought would take over after that. I see, I see. It fooled me as well. Man, oh man, what a guy, huh? Yes, well, I oh. didn't spend all these years wasting my time, you see. But shouldn't we be... Be concerned about Vega instead? Lapless oh. tried to change the subject. Oh. But, oh, but Gordora wasn't done pursuing Vega yet. Uh, hold on. Me? Yes, you. Yes, you. Oh, sorry, that's I'm you. I'm afraid yeah. I can't... Yeah. Sorry. Yes, mm. you. I'm afraid I can't trust you very much. Why not? Vega acted like he had no idea. It exasperated Lapless. Oh, that's Lapless. Uh, to be honest, he uh, said with a shrug. I don't trust him either, but he's still one of mine, you know? And I get it if you want to rub down, but I really want to trust him on here. Or trust him here. Besides, I can't do anything without my boss's permission anyways. He'll listen to reason as long as he doesn't get carried away. So, how about we cut him some slack just this once? What a headache, he bitterly thought. The main problem with Vega was his astonishing lack of intelligence. He was too loyal to his own desires, and he never seemed to care about other people's feelings. But he wasn't all that bad. He never really did well in a group, but give him an order and you'd be assured he would carry it out. At least to some extent. Between that and his undeniable strength, it'd be a pity to do away with him right now. His occasional problematic outburst might tax his patience one too many times, Lapless feared. But for now, he'd stick to his side and keep a careful eye on him. He had caught him just in time today, but Vega was one step away from causing serious problems. If he had laid so much as a finger on Carrion or Frey, Lapless wouldn't have defended him one bit. In fact, he would have disposed of him right there. The mere fact that he attempted what he did was bad enough, but... This is Ghidorah. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. well, I don't have the authority to make the call, but I can certainly understand your line of thought. 
I'm familiar with Vega myself, and as long as he causes no trouble for Sir Rimuru, I don't see any issue with that. Ghidorah was familiar with Vega as well. And while it didn't feel right for him to speak on his behalf, he still wanted to give him some muted feedback. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Lapless seemed just as anxious as he gave that vague warning. Only Gabiru among them could fight it in himself to laugh it off. <laughs> we are all men here. We learn from our mistakes. Very well. I will trust in him too. Vega, was it? Listen to Sir Lapless and try to become the best warrior you can be. He clapped Vega on the back as he spoke. Despite everyone's apprehension, now was not the moment to stand around worrying. <laughs> I just love, I just love the idea of like, Vega and La and fucking Gabiru becoming like the best of yeah. buddies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, man, you're man. you're a great warrior like us. Yeah, yeah. I just imagine yeah. these two are just the exact mm. same level of idiot. Mm -hmm. Like they, <laughs> two sides of the same coin. Yeah, literally share the same brain cell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh well, god, there's two of them now. Yeah, <laughs> not, not quite, like, but... The realization <laughs> just settles in. It's like, mm -hmm. oh no. Yeah, oh no. Oh, Despite no, no. everyone's apprehension, now was not the moment to stand around worrying. Laplace wasted no time taking Vega away from the scene. Do you think that... Or, hold on. Uh, do you think that was the right thing to do? I wouldn't... Oh, I think that's him. This is Ghidorah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at that chat. It's like, yeah. did, did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> Want to do karate in the garage? Yup. Yup. <laughs> just those two. Is the newt troop still a thing? The newt new troop. Newt troop. New God troop. damn. Newt troop. New troop. Yeah. We'll always be together. Yeah. Oh, he's he is a rather sinister yeah. line of thought. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, do you think that was the right thing? To, or they, he was? I think this is Ghidorah. Uh, Gabiru, Ghidorah, Gabiru. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Do you think that was the right thing to do? I wouldn't expect any problems. If this helps Vega grow a little, it'll benefit all of us. If not, I'm sure Lapless will do what needs to be done. Hmm. A rather sinister line of thought there. Well, <laughs> flattery will get you nowhere with me, I'll have you know. Ghidorah hadn't meant that as a compliment, but he held his tongue. No need to stir up yet more trouble. It was starting to feel a little more relaxed around here, but the battle was still ongoing. Remembering this, the two of them <laughs> mentally switched gears and prepared to re-enter the fray. Then some good news arrived. Uh, oh, this is Soka. My brother, I have word that from Sir Moss that Sir Rimuru has Moss, defeated Lady Moss. Velgrind. Oh, oh yeah, Moss! That Sir Rimuru mm -hmm. has defeated Lady Velgrind. Our main forces have stormed the enemy's main ship, airship, and are now engaged in a final battle with their top brass. We need to keep up the fight over here. The voice of Soka back on the front after some rest rang high as she gave the news. It was a massive morale boost for everyone on Rimuru's side and a major demotivator for the Empire. The Chimera Knights, the keystone of the Imperial forces, the ones who weren't on an insane berserker rush, that is, now realized how bad their situation was. They were without a commander, and they couldn't expect any more reinforcements, even as their enemies seemed to continually grow in number. Taking out the enemy commander, who also seemed hopeless to them, trying to kill the former demon lords who were now sitting ducks on the battlefield would simply make them surrounded and annihilated. If they had a functional military chain of command, things might have been different, but there was simply nobody in charge. A number of them were already fleeing, having seen the writing on the wall. Meanwhile, Rimuru's forces were overjoyed. Uh, whoa! His majesty has done it! He he beat Lady Velgren. I can't believe it! But maybe I should have expected that from him. We've won. This is nothing more than a rout now. Gabiru and Ghidorah were no exception, of course. Um, I think it's Gabiru and then Ghidorah. Ah, wonderful! I always knew Sir Reamer was cut from a different cloth. I suppose so, yes. I had grown much stronger out of nowhere, so I thought something like that had happened. That voice must be connected to Sir Reamer, just like Sir Diablo presumed. What did you say, Lord Ghidorah? Ah, never mind. We still have a job to carry out here. Let's go. There was such a thing as having too much curiosity. Ghidorah knew that well, and so he decided not to pursue this any further. That, and he wasn't sure Gabiru getting involved in the question was a good idea. Gabiru nodded back at him, his thoughts turning towards the battlefield, and with his loudest shout of the day, he gave the order to charge. charge. Okay. Charge! Oh. Cash! Yeah. Check! Alright, anyway. <laughs> anyway Very good. Uh, guys, guys, I have come to a yes. decision. Mm -hmm. Because this took a lot longer than I anticipated, we're actually going to end it there.
Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was this is a short a this longer is a, than you anticipated. Yeah, it took us longer than I anticipated to actually get through ten pages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eh. I think I was reading a little slow, but that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, so, a couple rants yeah. happened. So yeah, a couple mm-hmm. of rants did happen. We we did some back and forth stuff. And, you know, we had a mm-hmm. we had a we bit have of one a good more time. just to be safe. Yes. We we had a good we had a bit of good time. One more what? One more rant? One more rant <laughs> just to really you know really stretch to it really out. solidify everything you know. Just to really mm-hmm. like ah, here you, know, you go, uh, Richie. Start like, talking about Nietzsche Sanji. Really? No. <laughs> Nietzsche Sanja. No, fuck that. I don't want to talk about them anymore. Sanjas. No. <laughs> They're dead to me. Yeah. It, it, oh. They're dead to me. Oh, I forgot one thing that we did uh, that that we should have talked about about them yesterday. Apparently, there's a game developer that Niji Sanji uh, contacted asking if they could have permission to stream their games and uh, monetize their games. And they were like, no, no, you do not have my permission. But every other VTuber agency, yeah, they absolutely do. (laughs) God damn. Nice. I was like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. So many bridges got burnt with any color. It was so fucking funny. All right. Anyway, yeah. uh, that's what happens. So yeah, now here we go. Thoughts on this chapter? So much stuff happened. This it was chapter, short, but chapter it was pretty two. cool. Yeah. The door uh, is a well, fucking hunk now. this portion. This, yeah, the, just this portion. This portion was pretty short. Like the chapter yeah. itself, you got to remember we had we okay, were yeah, waking the chapter up, wasn't, but sicking all the demons on everybody, saying, "Hey, you're not allowed to die. Fuck all y'all. You're not allowed to die. You're not allowed to die. <laughs> yeah." Then he you fucking bodies. Then he fucking and Seal eats, took that person. He fucking he fucking bodies. Uh, he fucking bodies. Um, Velgrin. Velgrin. Eats mm-hmm. Veldora basically and becomes a, a true dragon himself, and then and then continues to body Velgrind again mm-hmm. until until he like puts Man, her. I will deal with you in a minute. He's like, <laughs> he puts her in a little Touch. puts her in a little space with himself uh, with mm-hmm. with Veldora and, is, and is, <laughs> they start yelling at each other. Veldora's like, no. No, 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 and he's like, da, da, da. Wait, 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 no, wait, wait. No, you, you gotta can't do leave it. me here with her. He's like, fuck you, I will. And then he I did. love that. You need some company in there. Look, you got lonely from last time. All right, and then. Yep. And then we got. Someone needs uh, to be there to straighten you out. And then we had, um, and then we had the demons run off and do their thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Then we had yes, yes. Carrion and Frey Beating doing the their shit fights. Out of their enemies. Beating yep. the shit out of their enemies, and now they're evolving. They're gonna and become... then they then they went Omni Mir. Yeah, they, her now her they're sister. gonna become true true demon lords. Yeah, Rimuru mm. pulled a domain expansion. <laughs> kinda, <laughs> kinda. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. He had his Jujutsu Kaisen moment. He goes. He he had his Gojo moment. He goes, no, I'd win. <laughs> no, I will win. Uh, anyway, no, no, I'll win. No, I win. Nah, nah. Anyway, uh, we got that, and then uh, we finally got uh, Ghidorah waking up as a demon, as a metal demon. Dun, 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 there we dun, go. Dun, 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 dun. He's very into metal music now. He just very, he really likes Mermaider now. Yeah, it's a part of his body. Uh, Mermaider, Mermaid. It's part of his soul, if you will. I don't know. It's funny when he when he know. said he was a long. He, he really but. he really he woke up and he just started going rice rice. Man, he was hungry a for some rice. rice, man. I don't know rice. when it described a him. Rice, like, waste, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. You won't get that so yet, but you, what, you yeah. come back for our solo leveling stuff. You'll understand. Arise. Chicken. <laughs> rise. Rise, rise, next chicken. Chicken, chicken yeah. arise. Arise, player. Player, arise. Yeah. Awaken, yeah. awaken. The toll, the rise toll. from your grave. What did Sorry. What did, What did? did Revan do? Oh, no. They're best. What did you do? Reamers, uh, buds versus suicides. Check your PayPal. Oh, no. What mm-hmm. did you do? Wait, what? Check the play. Check my PayPal, apparently. Oh, you were getting like money. You owe Revan $700. <laughs> uh, I d- wow. Uh, I don't think he sent that, that much. Enough. Oh, okay. That's n- Thank you. 
I appreciate it. That helps a bit, especially because I think I was in the negative at that point. The negative manos. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. It's okay. Uh, well, I have a balance of twenty five dollars now, so that's nice. That's uh, that puts me part part of the way towards where I gotta go. So there's that. You're mm. part way <laughs> there. Whoa. <laughs> Squidward okay, on a chair. Sorry. Squidward on a chair. That's a first. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah. It, it, it would be. It would be a quarter if I needed a hundred. But I need two. So. What was what it? Two hundred. You needed. Yeah, I need two hundred. So. So it's an eighth. It is an eighth. Okay. I'm just You're trying eight to make sure that my, I'm there. trying to make sure that my fractions were correct. You know, I'm trying to make sure that my mm. math was correct. I'm an eighth of the way there. So I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. That will help some. And I appreciate it. Every little bit counts. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anyhow, uh, final thoughts on this chapter. Was a lot happened. Pretty metal. At once. Uh, I, they're, it, they're flexing. It, they are flexing. Can't wait to get started. Again. Cannot, <laughs> cannot wait to get started on chapter three. Uh, Is it I next just, week of a game week, though? No. No, no not so. quite. It's last week of a month. No. Wait, hold on. So. Yeah, no. Uh, last week of February. Or Monday. No, yeah, he's right. He's right. It is? He is right. Uh, the 26th mm-hmm. is the yeah is the last Monday of this month. Okay. Well, then uh, we'll yeah, see you guys in February. two weeks. We'll mm-hmm. see you guys in two weeks. I mean, we'll that. still be here, but we'll be streaming instead. Yeah, yeah. We'll be yeah, gaming. Yeah, we'll be doing a craft we'll or gaming. something else. We'll be, we'll be doing some We'll be doing some craft. But honestly, yep. the other half of the reason is I've been up since about five o'clock, and I'm understandably a little tired. That's fair. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, and since I'm the one that has to host and you're the stream, three I'm hours like... ahead of me. So yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, man. Mm. Like I tried to take a nap earlier, but like my body was like not letting me, and I'm uh... like, look here, you. My body just has not been listening to me lately, and I'm like. Sir, mm. sir, how dare you? Yeah, you know, I've actually, I've, it's, this is a weird thing when gardens sleep for me. Whenever mm. I, like, I know it's like technically not something you're supposed to do, like, because, like, it's brain activity where I start, like, thinking about stuff, like, more specifically, like, crafting, like, weirdly enough, I've been thinking about, like, oh, here are, like, the different Iron Man armors from the MCU and just, like, describing them in my wow. head. Uh, I think it's a dangerous past time. I, 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 I conk right out, now. and I'm like, what did I end up? It's, it's not something we are talking about in Anime Church right now, because it has not been confirmed. If it does get confirmed later this week, we'll talk about it. But unconfirmed uh-huh. rumor right now is that Henry Cavill has been signed to an unknown role in the MCU. Henry Cavill. Who is he? Superman. He's, he's Superman. He's just Superman. <laughs> Superman in the there MCU. One MCU character. I'm That'd be funny. Really, I'm really, 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 really hoping that he's Doctor Doom. Oh, oh, that that would be interesting. Could you imagine the absolute inverse of taking Superman and turning him into Doctor Doom? Well, especially since Doctor Doom has been done so dirty in the previous movies, right? Well, they've because never done a very good Doctor Doom. Doom so is fucking this would be a great incredible. turnaround. Incredible. Doom in the comics, yeah. Doctor Do- oh, yeah. right, Doctor Doom. Doom makes Thanos look like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Doom yeah. is fucking incredible. Oh yeah, Doom is insane. And he's petty, yeah, and, which is really funny. And, yeah, and he's petty. That he's not petty really as doing hell. anything with Kang mm-hmm. anymore either. It seems. No, uh, which kind we'll, of sucks. we're probably gonna get Kang. Kang, Kang. Just we're we're gonna get Kang again, just as a different actor. Kang, Kang. It's been so long since we've seen oh, any yeah. Marvel stuff, man. They're not getting yeah. rid of Kang. They're oh. just not gonna have Jonathan Majors. Well, especially since you have to watch the series and stuff in order to get some of the. We stuff need Gwenpool. Movie, so it's like, no, <laughs> be interesting. I'd watch a Gwenpool movie. Thanks, as an idiot. Oh, I would be fun. Mm. I, I luckily I have friends who are like. Oh, Thanos is an this, idiot. It's yeah. fine. It'd be you really cool if they did this. like a Gwenpool movie in the style of like the or the people who did the the Spider Verse movies, but they did We're a spin off and did the Gwenpool movie. That would be incredible. I would watch that. We're getting Kang at home. Dude's awesome. wor- Doom's word Kang is law. Home. Because mm. here's the thing: if we're we doing it accurately, Doom would be the one that's in charge of Secret Wars. That would be interesting. Yeah. 
Doom would Sorry. be like the All next Avengers movie too, if not Kang. I mean, Doom would be awesome. All I think of yeah. it when I think of Doctor Doom like is all his. I'm just here's my thing. Doom bit. cannot be a one-off villain. No, no. he can't you because you he's, cannot he's, make Doom a one-off. No. villain. he's too important. Kang's at least to be two just Avengers level. Mm -hmm. Doctor Doom is fucking incredible. So I think uh, he and he's be, I think fucking he'd be, broken he'd be, in MVC. He'd, mm -hmm. he'd be the main villain in the first Avengers movie he's in. He'd be. Maybe an anti-villain in the second, mm -hmm. or no, no, third. I'm thinking maybe third, maybe third. But I think he would definitely be in the second. I don't know what he'd do in the second one. Anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be, be there for, for us though. for slime. Let us know what you thought of uh, of chapter two mm -hmm. uh, in the chat. Definitely want to know. I will be moving hokey pokey Loki. That's great. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna move these over to the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, pretty soon. Also, guys, don't forget to clip these so that we can start making yes. YouTube shorts out of these. Uh, so mm -hmm. please, please, please uh, clip the clip the moments that you like, that you think are funny, and we'll determine whether we can put them up as YouTube shorts to start promoting the channel. Thank you so much. We'll see Maybe you next mind. time. I'm looking forward to seeing Thank them, you. actually. Yeah. Uh, we'll you see you I want, a, I want a giant for... compilation. We'll see you mm. next week for some rafting. We have upgraded a little bit of the ship while uh, while we were offline. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of the raft got some upgrades so that we could focus on going to Caravan Island. Oh boy, <laughs> you guys! I'm funny too. It's called that. Carry On Island. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right, that'd be funny. See you guys later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.